Good morning, Falcons. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. Later, you'll learn exactly where, when there is an earthquake and how to show your school spirit. In the meantime, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Over the weekend, Ben went to Silverado Showdown and got first place by a large margin. Wow, way to go, guys. Saturday, our band heads to Palo Verde at 2.45. Go and support our amazing band. They really work hard to get that gold trophy every time. Want to show your school spirit? Then go ahead and wear pink. Help support breast cancer awareness by participating in Pinktober. Our student council will be collecting change for all this month for the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Creative Writing Club will hold its next meeting today in room 233 at 1.30. On Friday at 7 a.m., the University of Utah will be here to present to seniors and juniors. Did you know earthquakes happen all the time around the world? In fact, an earthquake occurred in the Philippines with a magnitude of 7.1. That happened two days ago. Oof. Earthquakes happen here, too. A 3.7 magnitude earthquake was struck in August. We're even close enough to feel strong earthquakes in California. Here at Foothill, we want you to be safe. That's why we're participating in the Great Shake Out. This drill will be happening all around the world. So tomorrow, we will participate, but you first need to know what's going to happen. When an earthquake strikes, the ground literally shakes. It's important to remember when the ground shakes to follow three simple things. First, Drop to the ground. That means whether you're listening to music, reapplying your latest coat of makeup, or just catching a few Z's, you need to drop to the ground. Next, take cover under a desk, table, or some other strong structure. It'll prevent you from getting hit by any falling debris. And... Oh my gosh, I didn't finish my second coat! <laughs> no, your makeup won't matter if you are passed out. Next, hold on. Earthquakes can last as long as two minutes, so brace yourself as the earth moves beneath you. Normally, we would then evacuate the building and get to a safe area away from the building. Why? After earthquakes, the building may no longer be safe. It's important to get away from anything that could potentially fall. For this drill, we will not evacuate the building. Remember, drop, cover, and hold on. Now you are earthquake ready. Now that you know, we'll participate tomorrow during third hour when we hear the announcement, which simulates the shaking of the ground. You need to drop, cover, and hold on, and make sure you do not evacuate. Do not evacuate the, the building. Just drop, cover, and hold on. Tony and Ricky had the latest sports news, so stay tuned. What's up, Falcons? You probably already know the drill by now. It's time for sports news. That's right. Last night, Varsity Girls Volleyball beat Liberty at home, winning three sets to none. Christina Beaver had 29 assists, and Karina Bush had 15 digs. Congratulations to the tennis doubles teams of Tyler Van Stone and Pepe Luz, and Tristan Hansel and Theodore Trebicki for advancing to the quarterfinals, which are taking place tomorrow. Today, boys soccer is heading up to Del Sol to face the Dragons on the road. Varsity plays at 3, and JV plays at 4.30. And the girls' soccer teams are facing Del Sol here at home. Varsity is playing at 3.30 and JV is playing at 5. If you can't make it to the Del Sol to support the boys, then come up to the soccer fields and support the girls. That's all the sports news for today. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, Falcons, that's all we have for you today. I'm Dominic Martinez. And I'm Riley Grieve. Have a terrific Wednesday, Falcons.